What's up guys, Steve here with another unemployment update in regards to the LWA program as of today, Thursday, October the 1st. And I know there's just a handful of states that are still waiting to receive that LWA benefit. And I wanna let you guys know that I'm still here with you. I'm gonna give you updates on everything that I know until you get that money. I'm gonna make sure that I'm here with you guys. So if you appreciate that, if you like these video updates, if you could do me a quick favor, it'll just take a second, smash that like button. YouTube channel success is pretty much based on interaction. So when you smash the like button and leave comments, it helps on my channel. Thank you so much. And also, if you'd like to stay up to date on everything that's rolling out, and there's quite a bit taking place right now, be sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that way every time I upload videos, you can stay notified. And again, just to clarify, this is on the LWA or Lost Wages Assistance Program for unemployment benefits. And also too, if you don't already, be sure to follow me on Instagram at steveram3. Now, just a reminder that LWA or the Lost Wages Assistance Program came from the president's executive memorandum that was issued on August 8th of 2020. And this was in response to the expiring FPUC benefit that was provided in the CARES Act. And the FPUC added an additional $600 per week on top of unemployment benefits. And this was provided to anybody that lost their job due to the pandemic and was collecting as little as $1 per week from unemployment benefits. This was applied at the end of March when the CARES Act was enacted all the way out to the end of July, set to expire July 31st. But due to distribution dates, a lot of people saw the end of that benefit around July 25th or 26th. Now, after FPUC expired, Congress was unable to come together and provide an agreement to extend FPUC in a stimulus package. As a matter of fact, today, the first day of October, they're still working on a stimulus package agreement. So the president stepped in and he provided this LWA program. And this would add an additional $300 per week on top of unemployment benefits, with the exception of a couple states that said they would add an additional $100 on top of that, so that way their claimants could receive $400 per week instead of the 300. And those states included Kentucky, West Virginia, Montana, Montana, and the U.S. territory of Guam. Now, the LWA program was to be applied retroactively from the time that FPUC expired at the end of July. And this would be guaranteed for only three weeks, going up to potentially six weeks, depending on funding availability. Now, this was coming from $44 billion of reallocated funds from FEMA's disaster relief program and being dropped into this enhanced unemployment benefits. Now, some states actually did receive the full six weeks. They received this retroactively from the last week of July, and it went forward all the way into the first week of September for a total of $300 per week for six weeks, $1,800. However, this was not guaranteed for all states and some did not receive the full six weeks amount. Now, in order to be eligible to receive the LWA program, claimants must have lost their job due to the pandemic and must have collected at least $100 per week from their unemployment benefits. I'll go ahead and put a screenshot right here from the executive memorandum. And you can see this is unlike the FPUC program where you only needed to collect $1 per week. So this was a little bit stricter requirements in order to be eligible to receive this benefit. And as I said, this was to be for those specific weeks from the end of July going forward three to six weeks. Now, all states were approved to receive the LWA benefit, including two U.S. territories, Guam and the U.S. Virgin Islands. And the only state that decided not to participate was South Dakota, who opted out saying they appreciated it, but they did not need it since the vast majority of their unemployed had already recovered by the time this program came out. And for the vast majority of the states, Claimants did not have to do anything to receive this LWA benefit, but some did require recertification on their websites, sometimes on entirely different pages. So you just need to make sure that you were doing all the steps required to receive this LWA benefit. And this was to be applied in a lump sum, but a lot of states, their systems were not able to do that, so some actually sent it out in payments. So I'm gonna be going through the list right now of all of the states and their status regarding LWA. Now, if I read your state off as paid and it is just newly paid and you have not yet received the funds, it should be on the way. It takes a little while and sometimes they pay out UI or PUA at different times. Now, if I read off your state as paid and it got paid quite a while ago, you might wanna look into it right away because Funds are limited, and if you got missed or you didn't recertify, whatever the case, uh, funds might have already expired. So look into that right away. All right, so now let's go through the list. I'm gonna go through them in chronological order from the time that states were approved. And if I have an update on your state, I will shout out the update so that way you know it. So August 15, 2020, Arizona was paid out six weeks. Iowa's paid out six weeks. Louisiana as well, and New Mexico as well. 
August 16th, 2020, Colorado, we have an update. They have now paid out six weeks. Missouri has paid out six weeks and Utah has paid out six weeks as well. August 18th, 2020, Oklahoma has paid out six weeks along with Montana has paid out six weeks. August 19th, 2020, Maryland has paid out six weeks. Idaho paid out five weeks in partial payments. August 21st, 2020, Massachusetts paid out six weeks. Alabama paid out six weeks. California, we have an update. There are reports some people have received three weeks, some four, and some five. Payments are still going out. Indiana has paid out six weeks. North Carolina has paid out six weeks. Texas has paid out six weeks. And Kentucky, we have an update. They've paid out three weeks, and the fourth should go out today. Michigan has paid out six weeks. August 22nd, 2020, Vermont, we have an update. They have paid out three weeks. And I had one viewer say that they received an email saying that there is more to come. They received it today, um, but I have not been able to verify that information. Mississippi has paid out six weeks, Tennessee as well, and Rhode Island has paid out five weeks. August 23rd, 2020, New York has paid out six weeks. Alaska is saying you can expect to receive six weeks worth of payment in mid-October. Georgia has paid out six weeks. August 24th, 2020, Connecticut has paid out six weeks. Pennsylvania, five weeks. Washington, we have an update. They have now paid out six weeks. New Hampshire has paid out six weeks. August 25th, Maine paid out six weeks. Arkansas, we have an update. They have paid out three of six weeks and the rest will be coming out in weekly payments. August 26, 2020, Ohio has paid out six weeks. Virginia, we have an update. They are now delayed out, they're saying, until October 15th. August 27, 2020, West Virginia has paid out six weeks. August 28, 2020, Wyoming has paid out three weeks. Oregon, we have an update. They are now paying out six weeks in a lump sum. August 29, 2020, Minnesota has paid out six weeks. Florida has paid out four weeks. Hawaii, we have an update. They are now paying $300 per week, once a week for the next six weeks. August 31st, 2020, North Dakota has paid out six weeks. September 1st, 2020, Illinois has paid out six weeks. Wisconsin, October 31st is when you can expect to receive five weeks of payment. South Carolina, we have an update. They are now paying out six weeks. Delaware has paid out three or four weeks to some claimants. September 3rd, 2020, New Jersey, we have an update. You can expect to see that money the first week of October and you can expect to receive either five or six weeks. So New Jersey, if you're watching this and you get your money, please let me know in the comments down below. September 7th, 2020, Kansas, we have an update. You need to self-certify and payments will likely start tomorrow. September 8th, 2020, Washington DC has paid out four of six weeks. No information on when the rest will be coming out. Guam has paid out three weeks. September 9th, 2020, Nebraska has paid out six weeks. September 11th, U.S. Virgin Islands, we have no information. And Nevada, you can expect to receive your money in mid-October and it should be six weeks of payments. Well, you guys, that is your update as of today, Thursday, October the 1st, regarding the LWA program. As more information rolls out, I will be sure to share here on the channel. And also today, as I mentioned before, is a big day regarding stimulus package negotiations. If I hear anything, I will be sure to share here on the channel. And once again, if you haven't already, if you could do me a quick favor, if you like these updates, smash the like button. It'll just take a second. I would appreciate it. Also, if you'd like to keep getting these video updates, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that way as soon as I upload videos, you can be notified. Follow me on Instagram at steveram3. If you'd like to be a part of something positive and encouraging, be sure to go to teachjesus.app on Facebook. If you want to be a part of Bible studies that we do, just something positive and encouraging, just an invitation. And also, if you might be interested in some fashionable, modest women's clothing, be sure to check out my wife's website at www.nayaellaboutique.com. Link in the description below. Well, you guys, I hope this information was helpful and informative. I'll be sure to keep you guys up to date. I hope this reaches you well. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.